April 15th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 31 and 32 from the Old Testament. In you, O Lord, I have taken shelter. Never let me be humiliated. Vindicate me by rescuing me. Listen to me. Quickly deliver me. Be my protector and refuge, a stronghold where I can be safe. For you are my high ridge and my stronghold. For the sake of your own reputation, you lead me and guide me. You will free me from the net they hid for me, for you are my place of refuge. Into your hand I entrust my life. You will rescue me, O Lord, the faithful God. I hate those who serve worthless idols, but I trust in the Lord. I will be happy and rejoice in your faithfulness because you notice my pain and you are aware of how distressed I am. You do not deliver me over to the power of the enemy. You enable me to stand in a wide open place. Have mercy on me, for I am in distress. My eyes grow dim from suffering. I have lost my strength. For my life nears its end in pain. My years draw to a close as I groan. My strength fails me because of my sin, and my bones become brittle. Because of all my enemies, people disdain me. My neighbors are appalled by my suffering. Those who know me are horrified by my condition. Those who see me in the street run away from me. I am forgotten. Like a dead man no one thinks about, I am regarded as worthless like a broken jar. For I hear what so many are saying. The terrifying news that comes from every direction. When they plot together against me, they figure out how they can take my life. But I trust in you, O Lord. I declare you are my God. You determine my destiny. Rescue me from the power of my enemies and those who chase me. Smile on your servant. Deliver me because of your faithfulness. O Lord, do not let me be humiliated, for I call out to you. May evil men be humiliated. May they go wailing to the grave. May lying lips be silent, lips that speak defiantly against the innocent with arrogance and contempt. How great is your favor, which you store up for your loyal followers. In plain sight of everyone, you bestow it on those who take shelter in you. You hide them with you where they are safe from the attacks of men. You conceal them in a shelter where they are safe from slanderous attacks. The Lord deserves praise, for he demonstrated his amazing faithfulness to me when I was besieged by enemies. I jumped to conclusions and said, I am cut off from your presence, but you heard my plea for mercy when I cried out to you for help. Love the Lord, all you faithful followers of his. The Lord protects those who have integrity, but he pays back in full the one who acts arrogantly. Be strong and confident all you who wait on the Lord. How blessed is the one whose rebellious acts are forgiven, whose sin is pardoned. How blessed is the one whose wrongdoing the Lord does not punish, in whose spirit there is no deceit. When I refused to confess my sin, my whole body wasted away, while I groaned in pain all day long. For day and night you tormented me, you tried to destroy me in the intense heat of summer. Sila. Then I confessed my sin. I no longer covered up my wrongdoing. I said, I will confess my rebellious acts to the Lord. And then you forgave my sins. Sila. For this reason, every one of your faithful followers should pray to you. While there is a window of opportunity, certainly when the surging water rises, it will not reach them. You are my hiding place. You protect me from distress. You surround me with shouts of joy from those celebrating deliverance. Selah. I will instruct and teach you about how you should live. I will advise you as I look you in the eye. Do not be like an unintelligent horse or mule which will not obey you unless they are controlled by a bridle and bit. An evil person suffers much pain. But the Lord's faithfulness overwhelms the one who trusts in him. Rejoice in the Lord and be happy, you who are godly. Shout for joy, all you who are morally upright.
God, how amazing you are. Your timing, as always, is perfect. Always. I was just talking to one of my friends tonight. Um, and I'm struggling. And my friends know I'm struggling uh, with a situation that's sort of like uh, Psalm 31. Where it feels like someone is just intentionally out to destroy me. <laughs> Keeps doing things that seem very deliberate to cause me incredible amounts of pain. And then today somebody said, well, he'll get what's coming to him. God will take care of that. And I said, I, I kind of hope not. I kind of hope, just like it talks about in Psalm 32, that this is the, the time where I'm not punished for my sins, that my rebellious acts are forgiven and my wrongdoings go unpunished. It's not that I want him left off the hook. I just know that if he chose you, God, right now, that if he chose the path that I know you set before him, that, that if, if he trusted you, that he could have this amazing peace, this joy that we read about in this psalm. I know you have an incredible plan for him. I'm not a, usually, I'm not a revengeful person, God. If it's your will to punish him for what he's done, then that's your will. And of course, I will abide by it. And in the meantime, I will continue to pray that, that he finds the joy that I have in my life because of you, that he finds the peace Oh God, he so needs peace in his life. He doesn't understand that everything he's doing is all about him right now and so many people are getting hurt. Where it says an evil person suffers much pain. A few months ago he even said that to me, how much pain he was in. But the next sentence says, but the Lord's faithfulness overwhelms the one who trusts in him. And God, I just pray that that's, that's the path that he ends up on. That's the path I pray that everyone who's listening right now is on, ends up on, heads towards. I definitely get that there's a place for punishment and disciple, uh, sorry, and discipline. I've been under discipline quite a few years for some of the things that I've done and have a multitude of consequences from my sins from my previous life. But I want everyone to experience this joy and this peace that I have from being your child, God. I wish I could just wrap it up and hand deliver it to so many people who I see are in pain because of their sinful choices who I see are stuck in that worry cycle because they don't trust you. So many people whose life are in chaos because they don't turn it over to you. I know I can only share with them what my life is, God, and what you've done for my life. I know it's you who chooses them, and I know it's you who controls what that looks like. But today I include them in this prayer. Because even though this particular person has hurt me more than, without a shadow of a doubt, more than anybody else in this entire world. I want him to be your child. I want him to have your love and your grace and your mercy and most of all your forgiveness. I want everyone in the world to be overwhelmed with your faithfulness, God. I want everyone in the world to rejoice and be happy. I want everyone to shout for joy because of you. That would be pretty crazy awesome, God. I love you very much. Thank you. In your son's name I pray. Amen.